Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got one more video for you guys today before I start doing my combo videos. This time it's on my favorite deck, the Shadol Dinos. So this is actually my very favorite variation of dinosaurs because it's just really good at locking out your opponent from special summoning too many monsters while keeping cards like Ultimate Conductor Tyranno out. You could potentially also get negates like Overtex Quantless. So yeah. So anyway, I decided to go back, fix up the deck to better um, boost the consistency level. And I found one build that just worked really well for me. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this and I'll show you what I got. All right, so starting off, you're only going to be playing two copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. He's really crazy in this format, as I mentioned in the last video, because like Thunder Dragons have a hard time beating around this guy because he can attack all monsters. And if they're in defense mode, he'll just send them to the grave. Also, um, he's a Book of Eclipse, so that's why he's just so powerful. But you only need him at two. He's too breaky at three, so... Two should be more than enough. Three, Soul Eating Oviraptor uh, as your main starter. Definitely want to get your dinosaurs out in the grave or into your hand as quickly as you can. Three Miscellaneous Orders, which I'm really happy for because now you can give your dinosaurs more built-in protection. So without having to hard draw it or just try to search it out, if you open up with this card, you're pretty much set. So just discard this. You can say goodbye to all hand traps for the duration of that of the main phases. Uh, next. Three Dino Rush or Panker Tops. Since this is a going second deck, you definitely want to have, uh, you want to max out on this card so that way you can special summon it for free just to get a free body on board in case you can bait out like any certain trap cards like Floodgates or anything like that. Uh, definitely a great card to have. Uh, two Overtech Squadless, as I mentioned, this negates spells and traps. Also, if it's dumped to the grave by an effect, you can uh, search out your double evolution pills. And the fact that Miscellaneous Source is back at three, it's easier to summon Quatless with its. Uh, main uh, summoning condition by shuffling back five banished dinosaurs so it's a good way to re recycle any uh, dinosaurs that got that you banished or were banished one giant rex and then one jurek alo uh still an important card we do run nat beast in, in the main deck or in the extra deck uh decided to take out glow bulb because again uh miscellaneous Wars is back at three so it's more consistent to play jurek alo uh now so yeah so that's pretty much it for the main dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and move on to the Shadal package. Playing one beast uh, gives you draw power. One dragons and MST can also bounce back cards. One Shadal Falco, it's free pop fodder for your Tyranno because it brings itself back and it can also bring back any of your other Shadals in face down defense mode. And one Hedgehog for your searcher and that's pretty much it. Uh, three or four Shadal monsters should do you and that's all you're ever gonna need. Uh, for the performance engine, um, the reason for this is because it Gives you better targets for your uh, Shadal Fusions, but starting off with Hat Trigger, it's an Earth Attribute. Also, free level 4 to summon, as long as there's two more monsters on board. Plus, if you have if you turn Jurek Elo into an Earth Attribute Tuner, it's a free Nat Beast right there. One Trick Clown, another free Pop Fodder, but it's also a free Il Shadal Construct Target, which you can Chain Block with, so definitely an, a much-needed card. And then one Damage Juggler, which searches out any of these Performage cards, so... And plus, if you think about it, Damage Juggler in it, in itself is a bit of a hand trap because he protects you from two forms of damage, so definitely a must-have. And then for the only hand traps I'm running, just three Ash Blossom. Uh, you want to minimize your hand trap count since, you know, you have built-in protection now with Miscellaneous Horse, which is a hand trap too, so that's why I'm not running t as many as I was before. Moving on to spells, three Fossil Dig, three Double Evolution Pill, since, you know, you got plenty of non-dinosaur targets to use, so you can actually put double evolution pill at its full potential and since this is the Shadol variant three Shadol fusions uh definitely want to open up with this card and make sure you try to bait out any negates your opponent has because you know if this card gets hit with an ash then the card becomes dead but if you're lucky then yeah uh it's, you can use materials from your deck and as long as your opponent has a monster that was summoned from the extra deck so definitely a much needed card and it's pretty broken in its own right two super poly though just in case if i didn't open up with the Shadol fusion uh, Super Poly is just great because your opponent can't respond to it. So, yeah. Uh, two Called by the Grave. Um, since, you know, Miscellaneous Horse is your protection, you don't really need as much, so Called by the Grave at two is more than enough. For one of us, one Foolish Burial, and then one Upstart Goblin. And that's pretty much it for the main deck. Alright, so moving on to Extra Deck. I'm playing two copies of Ill Shit Off Window, just because, again, you want to lock out your opponent from special summoning so many monsters, so... Il Shadal Window, definitely a must-have, and my best targets for this card is usually uh, one of my Shadal Monsters and Overtex Quatlet, so I can get a pill for free. So just use Shadal Fusion, send those any those two cards, and then you get Tyranno out on the same turn. 
El Shadal Grista, now that it's more viable, uh, just negates any inherent summon once per turn. So, as long as you have a Shadal card to pitch, of course. El Shadal Shekinaga, which negates spe the effects of any special summon monster that activates. Again, you need a Shadal card in hand to activate it. And then, one El Shadal Construct, which is... She's still at one, but hopefully we'll get her back at three one of these days. But, I mean, honestly, I think one should be fine anyway. You just need her to dump your Shadal cards to the grave, and also you just she pops cards for free once, well, during damage calculation. So, yeah. For Xyz, I got Dolka, Lagia, Dweller, and Gustav Max, pretty standard. And of course, the only synchro I mentioned, Nat Beast. Or you can go Chanbara, I just like Nat Beast because, you know, you can negate spells, and spells are very much reliant right now. So, yeah. Uh, for the Lynx, got Reprodocus, Nightmares Phoenix, and Unicorn. Double Logic Chisbana, and then lastly, Borlo Dragon. So just the standard choice of Link monsters to have. Uh, for the side deck, playing three Sphere Mode. Three Effect Veiler, because sometimes Ash doesn't work on every deck, so depending on your matchup, Effect Veiler might be the better one. But again, it just again it just depends on the matchup. Triple Twin Twister. Uh, three Evenly Matched, and then lastly, three, three Red Reboot. And that's it. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys again next time.